We're going to move over to Daisy Thomas and speaking about starts to the season. Yeah. Yeah. Friday night days, you sort of uh, did enough in the first half, they kicked six goals to two in the third and then you kicked nine unanswered, or nine in the last quarter. Yeah, it's probably been the, uh, <laughs> the story of our first four weeks. We've, um, we've played some good footy in parts and then gone to sleep for a little bit. I know the uh, first round against Port Adelaide, we did the same thing, so certainly something we're going to have to iron out going forward. What are you running with on the mush there, Dave? Just as we look across, <laughs> you've just got a little a bit of work. Yeah, I, um, we got the long break this week, so I, I shaved the day before a game. Long really? break. It's actually starting to grow right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Never used to happen a couple of years ago, so I'm running with it. Just, well, I've got to ask you another personal question. Have you actually got alopecia? Are you bald? <laughs> Are you actually bald? Is that a... Uh... <laughs> that's oh, not, yeah, it's one, not of, one of Bill Brownlis's. Uh... That's not a magic carpet on there, is it? I've, uh, I've seen the same bloke hey? Billy has. Is that what? I've gone to see the same bloke Billy has. Yeah. So that is that is your hair. That, that is, is not a rug is. or anything. No, it's not a rug, mate. It's been the same <laughs> for five years. Years, years. You taken notice? Old. Well, he could have alopecia. <laughs> 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 what, what it has I think got? He could have. He could not. <laughs> he could have he alopecia. He hasn't got Plenty alopecia. Of people have alopecia for reasons other than one footballer has in the history of the game. I think. Well, yeah. why couldn't it be two then? <laughs> <laughs> now, Daisy. Words uh, just drifted back to us at the footy show that you headed to the movies during the week. Is it true that you chose, with your beautiful partner, to go and watch the Justin Bieber? Oh. <laughs> Last night, and yes, I did. Why? <laughs> well, I think that's just the quality of movies that are out at the moment, and that one's the best one. Is that the war, isn't it? Or are you genuinely fascinated by the man? Uh, I, I was genuinely fascinated and wanted to go see it. <laughs> well, Daisy, there's a lot of people who are about to go on their Easter break. Just give us a little summation of the Justin Bieber movie. It was actually uh, not too bad, mate. I'd probably see it again if I had to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bit, of, bit of a documentary, mate. Uh, you know take, is, takes Foss? it through who? his uh, rise to fame. You know who <laughs> Justin Bieber is? Fossil? Beaver, is it? Beaver. Beaver. <laughs> Beaver. I'm, I'm, it wouldn't matter that I've not heard of him, but no. have you been to a movie called The King's Speech or anything like that? <laughs> Daisy, if you're familiar with The King's Speech? No, I'm not, no. You, you're not, aren't no, you? No, I'm not. Justin Beaver, you've been to the, not the King's Speech. Beaver, not Beaver, mate. <laughs> not Beaver, Bieber. Bieber. Bieber, Bieber, Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about... Oh, no. Daisy Thomas is on fire at the moment. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at him kicking some goals and have a look at his reaction. He is on fire. What a beautiful goal this is, Daisy. But take us through the reaction. <laughs> the backward running man with the tongue out. Well, that goes beautifully with the Bieber. I've, I've had a shocking week, haven't I? I'm not going too well. And not only that, we've got another picture of you coming from the races. I think this was spring carnival time. <laughs> there you are. With the great Bart Cummings. And what's that? Respect there, That's, Daisy. um... That's a, yeah, a bit of a tribute to the other footy show there in RL1 with uh, the, uh, Bo Ryan, one of the West Tigers boys, does a segment called The Doggies and that's his, uh, his little catch cry, The Doggies. Oh, and take your word after for a few, it. After a few frothies, I thought it would be a good idea. Hey, uh, <laughs> just, we all want to get your thoughts, both of you, because, Lingy, you would have played on this man and obviously you played in days. Dale Swan, uh, Dale, Dane Swan is the best player in the comp. I think there's no doubt about that. These were shots after the game and uh, you can't criticise uh, Swanee. He just gets 35 every time he runs out there. But it's not your typical frame that we've come to expect when we see the players at recovery on a Sunday morning in the beach. I'm not really one to comment, Gaz. He's no, got a better either. rig than me. Me either. <laughs> what, what, is, what, is he a hard worker? He obviously works hard on the field. What's his training regime? He like? does. He, um, I probably wouldn't say he's the hardest trainer and I think he'd admit to that as well. But... He's, uh, he wins all the, the bench press, all the strength testing we do, um, and he's just got one of those bodies, I suppose, that doesn't really tone up, and it works for him, so why not? Well, you, well, you said that, Daisy. We didn't say that. <laughs> but, Lingy, when you, when you play on him, what sort of a unit are we talking about? Is it a normal on-ball you know, day at the office when you've got a tag, Dane Swan? Oh, he's just a powerful, powerful unit. When he goes, he goes hard. It's not like playing on Croft years ago. It's not that type of running. Croft really... <laughs> He ran you into the ground and then, he, then he'd go again through just... Oh, sorry, I missed that. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but Dane Swan is just really powerful bursts and then he t takes his break on the bench, gets back on and uh, has another burst and just keeps finding the footy. He's, 
He might be the first bloke to win the Brownlow and the Coleman this year. Maybe not the first bloke, Gaz. It might have been Tony um, Lockett might have done it, but yes, um, <laughs> it's going to be pretty impressive to do it from the midfield. Yeah. He's in unbelievable form. He's, he's an incredible player. What a talk! I see, Daisy. I think the the key to this is that we ask you guys to come on this show and and show your personality, not be vanilla, if you like, and and be prepared to say what you should say. My only issue is that when you do that, you shouldn't then be jumped on. We can't expect players to come out and speak their mind and then as soon as they do go, oh, you shouldn't say that. I mean, we're beyond that, aren't we? And I think that's the whole point Maxie's raised there, is that when a player does come out, give an opinion that isn't typically the, the company line. One week or, at a time. Yeah, yeah, the old cliches is that then it becomes a story. And when there's so many journalists, I think there's one to every player nearly, they've all got to write a story and do their job and that's when the little things become made into big issues and... The players, the fans, I don't think want to see that. They want to see the facts reported and until that happens, I think there will be that little bit of, um, you know, us against them mentality. What, what about access to you blokes? I mean, requests go in constantly. You've all got media managers at clubs, so they go through them. Are they all passed on to you guys? And why would you say no to a, an interview? I mean, is it surely we're past the stage where doing an interview on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or Thursday is going to impact on your game of footy on the weekend? Well, it's got to the point where you can't say no. Um, if it's a, with the broadcasting rights, if a, uh, the broadcaster requests you, you have to say yes, otherwise you're subject to fines. So then again, it doesn't become, you know, if you want to do it or not. Um, so that's, a, that's another us against them but mentality. And newspapers are outside of that. Do the clubs put pressure on you not to do things? No, I think that becomes back to the players. But then if you do put yourself forward, put yourself out there, try and give the paper something, and then they run with a snippet out of what you've given them. I think that's when all the players on a whole kind of get a bit, yes. get their nose out, out, of, out context, of joint. Out of context, guys. Out of context. Yeah, out of context. Well, don't worry. If that we is. get the media rights back, Lingy, we'll be smashing hell out of you, so you better not say no. But you can't say yes to all the dribblers that ring you up and want... you just got to say These boys no. are uh, well remunerated these days, very well. Remunerated? On the back of a very, very big cheque written out by the media partners, Sam. Oh, so I see. So we just... need them as the media, and I would imagine that they need the media pretty well. They want to keep Not in the slightest, Why Gary. Not? Why would they need people like... Well, of course they need us. Well, why would to they? To cover the game, to You're maintain... Getting 70, the... getting three quarters of a million yeah, dollars a year. but why are they getting that money? Um, why? Because they can actually get the agate and kick it to someone. Yeah, yeah. Well, the well, same coloured jumper, Gary. Because the clubs get a dividend on the back of a very big cheque written out by the people that broadcast the game, right on the game, or... Very long bow, guys. No, it's not at all. It's not a long bow at all. Funds the game. Billion dollars they're about to mint. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Just, <laughs> just piped up. Oh, so, uh, so uh, carte blanche, we can do anything we like. Stick cameras over the back fence and no. watch them in the privacy of their own home. No, no disrobing and no, no, patting the not. dog and that's no, a long bow. No, fondling things. He's talking long. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> <laughs> talking long bow. Yeah, that is uh, the longest. Well, where does it start and where does it end? With Shane Crawford, who's about to take us through the first game of this round. Shane.